High cholesterol is a problem that a lot of us live with and address by diet and lifestyle changes. But elevated cholesterol issues is something hundreds of thousands of Americans are born with. WBRE 28 WYOU 22 Eyewitness News Healthy reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Julian Nick, that's exactly the case of a local firefighter. He's sharing his story tonight about family tragedy and vigilance to help others who may not know about a genetic condition. Whether he's responding to a car crash or some other emergency, Stephen Modell needs to be prepared. That's the same approach the Plains Township firefighter took after learning what claimed his grandfather's life and caused his father to undergo cardiac bypass surgery for six blockages at age 32. As I got closer to that age where that happened to him, I said, I don't ever want to have to worry about going through this. What Modold's father and the father's sisters unknowingly lived with for years is a genetic condition called familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH for short. It raises the LDL, or bad cholesterol, which the liver makes, to extremely high levels. It doesn't matter how much they restrict their diet, how much they exercise, or if they take daily cholesterol-lowering medicine. Statin medication in itself can't control it. I was on it for a long period of time. Despite taking a daily statin since he was a preteen, his cholesterol levels skyrocketed. My numbers were just shy of 500, uh, 466. Modal's Geisinger nurse practitioner began caring for him about a decade ago. We estimate about 90% are not diagnosed, so awareness is the key. She says getting diagnosed is so vital because of treatment breakthroughs in the past few years. Works just uh, like an EpiPen. Uh, you take it twice a month. Modal began taking the injectable medication in 2015 after the FDA approved it. It took his LDL from 175 down to 77, and that's where he remains today. <laughs> He's smiling. The 34-year-old Modal and his wife Amanda have a 14-month-old daughter, Nora. Their future looks bright. There's high hopes that I should never have to go through what uh, my dad has gone through or, or anybody else in our family. His daughter Nora will be tested at age 5 for FH. For others with FH who go untreated, half of all men will have a heart attack by age 50, and about one in three women will suffer one by age 60. With the help beat, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News.